Hi everyone, it's Sheila with Little Shop of Journals again. Um, as I mentioned in my first video, I have three that I want to get videos done on and get them posted. Um, this is another Christmas journal that I made. Um, I had taken a course by Nick the uh, Booksmith. It's been two if not three years ago um, and I can't remember the style this was but I'm sure if you check out Nick the Booksmith you'll be able to um, to find that information out but this one is hardbound um, it has a rounded spine um, I kept it pretty basic even though it's for Christmas I left the um, label blank you can either remove it um, or put one of your choice in there or put whatever you want on it. Um, once again with this journal I used a Tim Holtz hitching post. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, use some seam binders ribbon um, to hook it closed with. Now this journal is very basic. This was made with the intent of whoever receives it doing the decorating. Um, it would be a great book to use for a December daily or whatever you want, but that's sort of what I had in mind as I was putting it together. I actually made the cover, or at least the base of the cover, a few years ago, and then I never did anything with it. I didn't, you know, put the paper or the, or the you know, put it together, if you will. Um, and some months back, I was going through things. I was actually moving my craft room and discovered I still had it. And at that point, I was starting to think, you know, I really need to start working on some Christmas things um, because time really has a way of creeping up on me. Um, and so I pulled it aside. So now some of the elements that I've made in here are inspired by Stamperia papers. I couldn't remember the name of the paper pack I used in my three ring binder, but um, in here you'll notice with this Stamperia paper it's all different colors um, and designs mixed together. Um, and like there are many different pieces of paper from that pack um, but it just inspired me and as a result um, some of the pieces in here that I have done are inspired by that so I've made a little angel on a tag um, and this is what I mean this is a um, flip out it's an envelope but as you can see, I haven't decorated it. I don't have anything in it. Um, this journal is fully intended for you to do your thing. And I don't know if you can pick up the... I did do a little bit of stenciling here. Um, side tuck. So I'll just flip through this really quick. This is some vintage... Um, um, I want to think kind of back here. Yeah, kids, kids can make it for Christmas. I got that out. I think that book's from like the 1950s or something like that. Some vintage music paper, different um, scrapbook papers. Another little side tuck. Once again, some more light stenciling. Back side of that tag. This is a little snowman. Inspired once again from that Stamperia paper pack. Now, what I had intended here, and I decided to leave it unattached. My initial thought was I was going to make it glue here and here and have this as a pocket on the front of the... Um, 
the next signature. I ended up deciding to leave it loose because you can, um, of course, journal here or whatever you may want to do. So I left that loose for you to make the decision if you want it to be a pocket or what, or if you want to leave it loose. Once again, some more of that, those book pages. This is some um, ledger paper from Germany, um, 1931. Clip out. Oh. Tech spot back here. What I do with? I had a tag, yeah. Tech spot back here, and of course this opens. So you have a pocket here. I'm just trying to go through this really quick so maybe I can do my other journal on the same video. This is the ledger paper again. I just love the writing. Now this is a pocket pocket here and a tuck spot here made out of fabric. This again, Christmas tree inspired by uh, the Stamperia paper pack and has ledger paper on the back. Once again, if you want to glue it down, you can make a pocket or a side tuck or something with it. book page. Um, this is a little pocket and I don't have anything here to stick in it that's narrow enough but and then this folds out. one I did glue down and you can see it's a side envelope there and then on the back same thing I've covered it with uh, ledger paper so you can journal if you'd like or my thought was to glue it here and here and then this be a little side tuck but of course that's your call Papers have been tea stained or coffee stained. Um, a lot of them, as you can see, I've stitched around. Some of them have snowflakes. The more light stenciling on that page. And then the back is attached for a side pocket. And then left for you to decorate. Um, I did some, I don't know if you can see. Uh, stenciling in um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> it's real shiny. I can't think. My mind is gone. Too much going on in the world right now. Um, but anyway, that's this first one. I love the size of this. Um, in case you're not familiar with it. It's like uh, almost five inches wide by eight and three quarters long. And I will list the amount of pages. There's four signatures in this one. Um, but in the description I will list of course the amount of pages and what have you. And then 
this is my last one. And should have been better prepared. And I apologize, ladies. I keep apologizing because I can't remember anything anymore. Um, too much going on. And um, I literally forgot to make myself a little cheat sheet. But um, this was inspired... Artie, I saw it on Artie Mays, and Artie Mays um, had identified the person that um, did a tutorial on weaving the fabric, and that's what I did. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but then once I did that, I hand-stitched, like, green going down and red going across in each of the squares. You could... Like, they put um, some lace and different things going through theirs, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it as I at the time that I was making it. And then after I made this journal, I decided to leave it plain. Um, once again, this journal, um, I don't consider, like, fully dressed. It doesn't have tags and all that in there. It's papers and what have you for you to put your personal touch on. It would be great for a Christmas journal because it gives you the liberty of putting in there whatever you want to do, or it could be used as a um, daily, daily Chris, or December daily. Um, but that's my explanation. Um, it's it has a rounded spine. It is a hard cover. The back I just partially covered with the same. Um, woven fabric. Um, I painted the journal and then gilded the um, spine and around the edges. And let me just measure this real quick so we can get that out of the way. It is nine Nine by six. And once again, keep an open mind because this is not decorated. Um, it's left for you to do that. Um, start out with a tag here. A flip out. It's an envelope, of course, for you to decorate. Once again, this is stamp a Stamperia paper pack. A lot of the papers are. Um, there's Tim Holtz. There's a variety, but um, I used a lot of um, a Stamperia paper pad. <laughs> and excuse me, my allergies are very bad right now. So I apologize for that. This just has all different kinds of paper. Um, this, I think came from either creative craft activities or um, things to make and do. One of those um, old kid books, children's books. A little paper bag here. Nice paper. Most of the papers, not all, but a lot of the papers have been Either tea stained or coffee stained. But I used a variety. Some are, some are not. This opens, flips out. Ledger paper. Rice paper. It's got a little bit bent. That's why I put that washi tape down the center there. This is the back side of the envelope. I left it closed. You may choose to open the top or the side, so I left it. Um, This is from a um, music book. It was like the cover, inside cover. 
and I just like the texture of the paper. The, the Stamperia papers are just beautiful, I think. This is the back side of the, the tag. There is a pocket here. Side top. children's books. I just love the color that these pages add. This is some German ledger paper. This one I don't know if it has. 1903. 1899. 1900. I had ordered a bunch of, um, well, from an Etsy shop over in Germany. Um, uh, try to get her Etsy shop and list that as well. I was very pleased. I had ordered some envelopes and um, random papers and that type of thing. Another envelope. Back side of that ledger. Envelope on the back or pocket on the back side here. These papers are just gorgeous. There is pocket on the inside here. Some more of that German ledger paper. just of it. It's just a variety of papers. There's a pocket here, but left for you to do your thing, you know, to record your Christmas memories. I just, I left that. That was from where it was bound into the book, but I just like that element about it. <laughs> I like the different textures. Paper bag. Music paper. Ledger. Back side of the bag. Craft paper. Here's where the book pages weren't wide enough, so I just added some of the Stamperia paper. Another little tuck spot here. More Stamperia paper. This is one of those um, tea bags that I uh, tea stained. It's hooked in here so you can use it as a pocket. You can do some watercolor on it or whatever you want to. Some more German. This is from 1931. I just love looking at the, the writing. It's gorgeous. Paper. Then an envelope. And just pull it over. And the 
back. So I left the back and the front cover blank as well for you to do your thing. Um, as I mentioned, it's a rounded spine. Oh, from a, um, this was Nick the Booksmith too. I had taken a course uh, a while ago, a long while ago. <laughs> but, um, so both of these, I guess, are compliments of Nick the Booksmith teachings. <laughs> so these are the next two. As I said, they're, they're basic, um, made with the intent of you doing to them what you want. Like on this one especially, I just didn't want to cover the fabric. I just, I love fabric. Um, so I didn't do anything over the top. That can be your decision, you know, if you want to add to the cover or whatever you want to do. This one I did not put a closure. It can easily be done, of course. Um, but those are my final two Christmas journals for the year. So I'd just like to say thank you for stopping by. I hope that you enjoy them. Um, and um, next week is Thanksgiving. So I hope that you and yours are able to be together as a family. Um, in spite of the year we've had. I'm sorry to get emotional. In spite of the year that we've had, we still have a lot to be thankful for. So I hope that you're able to enjoy your Thanksgiving with your family and your loved ones. And um, we'll look forward to a new year um, and getting all this behind us. Um, so blessings to all of you. And once again, thanks so much for stopping by. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.